For the past few months, I've been following a crew of mostly anonymous video makers who have been putting out hundreds, if not thousands, of short video clips that have been used to help Donald Trump get elected in 2024 and to attack his enemies. The kind of viral memes that this group produces are not new. We've been seeing them for well over a decade on the internet. But what makes these ones stand apart is the coordinated efforts by an entire group with one goal in mind, and also the very slick and sophisticated way they put these out. The time for empty talk is over. At the center of all this is a guy named Brendan Dilley. Good morning, MAGA. Welcome to The Dilley Show. I am your host. He is a podcaster and a former failed Republican congressional candidate. He is the leader and the public face of this group. He also is the person that is in communication with people in the Trump world. In addition to Brendan Dilley, the team has more than two dozen people producing these memes, operating under a, a single hashtag called the Dilley Meme Team, and they unofficially call themselves Trump's Online War Machine. A lot of the memes this group makes uh, seem to be sort of uh, concocted on their own, but sometimes uh, Donald Trump himself uh, gets a piece of the project. One we're aware of um, was one called Let's Get Ready to Bumble, which is a series of gaffes and missteps by President Biden that was played at Trump rallies late last year. So we had just a little quick video made up. Would you like to see We it? learned that President Trump himself passed on some editing notes. The meme creator um, took those edits, incorporated it into the video, expanded it by a few seconds, and sent it back to the Trump people and got it there in time to put it up on the screen at the final rally of 2022. Take a look at the screen. The Trump campaign, when we reached out to them for comment, called the Dilly Meme Team volunteers. There are two big takeaways here. One is regulatory. Unlike TV ads or radio commercials, political content on the internet has few, if any, regulations about transparency or even the political endorsement of the message. A second concern is that if the Dilly Meme Team is successful and Donald Trump is able to retake the White House, we could expect other politicians to recruit their own meme teams. And that could mean we might see a lot more content just like this in the future.